back in the kitchen today after a week in Marlborough, which was absolutely fantastic. Lots of wine, lots of great food. <laughs> but talking of great food, we've got a pumpkin recipe for you today on the, on the menu. Laksa, pumpkin laksa. Um, it's really good. Lends itself to really sort of um, strong flavours, pumpkin. It's great, it's sweet, um, works well with the spices in the laksa. Um, we've got some broccoli in there, lots of herbs, lots of spices. And I've also got a fantastic garnish with chickpeas, so they're going to be nice and crispy and they're going to go over the top. And it doubles as a snack as well. And welcome back to the Blanco Kitchen. Welcome back, Mark. It's good Thank to you. have you here today. Okay, so we're going to use a vegetable that's uh, going to be the star of the show today, the good old pumpkin. That's right. So we've got pumpkin laksa. Yum. So a little bit different to a, a traditional laksa, but it's going to be really, really tasty. Mm, nice. And, and we've got some texture in there as well. So first of all, we need to build our um, soup. Okay, what do you need to do? Right, so... I'm just helping you in the kitchen. Have you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Right, I'll put you to work then. Okay. Right, a little bit of sesame oil. Yeah. Goes in a pot, so I've got it nice over a medium heat. Yeah. What you're going to do is going to start grating the ginger into okay, there. Cool. I'm going to slice a little bit of onion. Okay. And then we're just going to get all these aromats. Oh, that's quite hot, isn't it? It's quite hot, isn't it? That's all right, though. Oh, yeah. A little bit of heat, but you can really smell that um, sesame, sesame oil, oil coming. Sesame oil, yeah, it's great. You know, you've got the ginger in there, you've got the uh, onions, and we just want to use that heat just to toast it. Gonna have put a little bit of um, chili in as well for some heat. Jeez, this is a good grater, can I just say? It's amazing. <laughs> okay, good. Good old Xylus. Millie's Kitchen, by the way, millieskitchen.co.nz. Okay, is that enough? Is that enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So we want, we want to put heaps of flavouring, because this is going to be the base of our um, soup, really. Okay, okay. So there looks quite a lot of ingredients in there, but that's what we want, right? A couple of garlic cloves. Yeah, do you want me to grate them yep, in? please. Okay, and then I've got cool. a red pepper as well. So I'm just going to dice that up, and then we're going to roast that together as well. So fast. Okay, good. Okay, and you want all of this garlic in? Uh, you can do two cloves. What's the uh, key ingredient of a laksa? Of a lax? A Alutska. A Alutska. Yeah. It's a massage, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, I mean, it's you know, it's a, it's a Thai dish, it's a sort of Thai Malaysian dish. So it's mm. like a soup, it's like a spice soup. You know, we've got coconut, so we've still got the coconut in there. We've got chili, we've got um, all the aromats in there, a little oh. bit of soy, fish sauce, and I've got some uh, peanut butter as well. So we've got a sort of balance of sweetness and creaminess. Perfect um, for winter, in this there. dish. So you want to give that a couple of minutes in the um, in the pot. Yep. And then, so just as that's happening now, just going to dice up this pumpkin. I'm going to dice it quite small, and then it'll just speed up the process. Because we'll need the um, pumpkin to be soft before we blend it. Because we're going to blend it all together. Yeah, always, um, always good to find different ways to use pumpkin. Because I really like pumpkin, but you can use it so many different ways, can't you? Oh, it's great. And there's so many different types of pumpkin as well. Yeah. And, you know, this is the uh, season now. This is the time of year to get pumpkins. Um, really cheap, you know, I mean, you can grow them yourself if you want. I know, you know I just start a bit earlier than now. Don't put them in the microwave. I was reading a story the other day in the newspaper <laughs> about a lady who <laughs> wanted to soften up her skin and uh, of the pumpkin and she put it in and they, when she took it out it exploded in her hands and gave her burns. So there's a warning for you. Well, there's a top tip. Yeah. I don't know why you'd ever put a pumpkin in the microwave. Well, no, well, she wanted to soften the skin because she thought it was a little bit hard and all the moisture in the pumpkin just exploded it. Okay, here we go. What's this? Right, Your stock? So, yeah, so I've got some chicken stock in here. Yeah. Um, you know, you can, if you, it's a full of vegetarian recipe, obviously use um, some vegetable stock, that's okay, fine. Cool. Um, but it's quite nice with the chicken stock, gives it a little bit of extra flavour. Now, you cut that pumpkin up really well, and the reason you did that is because you're using the Xylus <laughs> control knife. 25 year guarantee, beautiful to hang on to, and they've got a little sort of control on them as well. Right, you can hold it, yeah. Yeah, you can really hold good. it right there. You can see that little dent in there. Millieskitchen.co.nz. Okay, cool. Right, so pumpkin goes in there, bring it up to the boil, and then we're going to turn it down, simmer. You can pop a lid on there just until that pumpkin's soft. You know, probably about 20 minutes or so. And once it's really, really soft, it needs to be soft, otherwise you're going to get lumpy soup. Mm. Then we're going to blend it. it smells good. And then I'm going to put some uh, peanut butter in. Yep. So I've got some chunky peanut butter. That goes in there as well now. We'll blend it, and then we'll come back, and then we'll finish our, um, our soup and mm. make some garnish with oh, it. Nice. Marlborough, by the way, sounds oh, like you had a good time. Fantastic, good great food, wine. good wine, and oh, great food. Amazing, <laughs> got good food here too. So uh, you've blended this, haven't you? Right, yeah. So all the pumpkin, so it's softened. We've cooked it all together and we've blended it. So you can see it's got a beautiful, vibrant colour now. Beautiful it's aromas thickened. too. Yeah, yeah. All those flavours are in there. Right now, we're going to finish it with some coconut cream. Okay. So that goes in Whoa. there. 
love coconut cream. Look at that. Beautiful. So then you get that sort of, you know, that, that true laxa flavour. We've got a little bit of soy sauce there just to uh, kick up the salt and give it some depth and a little bit of fish sauce as well, right? So you can give that a good stir around. Okay. Oh, you want this oh. spoon? Oh, yeah, that's I'll fine. Use yep. This one. Yep. Give it a good stir around, bring it up, check the seasoning. You know, sometimes if, if, if it's a little bit sort of creamy, which the coconut uh, milk and the pumpkin can do, you know, add a little bit of lime juice. That's fine. Okay, I'll if you, you, pass if you me want. that spoon then, Chef. Thank Are you, you. going to taste it? Yeah, I'm going to taste it. Right, here just we go. Check, check for the seasoning, you know. I'm just keen to give it a go too. All right, so we've got everything in there. I've got a little bit of celery here now, so I'm just going to take the tops off. Just do some small celery. Oh, broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in the vineyard. <laughs> yeah, I think you are. <laughs> that wine was really good. <laughs> celery, oh, it's green. It's green. Yeah, that's right. If um, you can't find broccoli, a great substitute is <laughs> celery, celery, surprisingly. <laughs> oh, right. this, is, this is nice. Brilliant. So mm. bring it back up to the boil. We'll pop that in about eight to ten minutes. That will be cooked. Maybe even less because we could cut it small. Okay. still wants to be green and uh, a little bit of crunch on there. Um, I've got some water there. What are you going to do, poach an egg? I am going to boil an egg, okay. so I'm going to boil that for about five minutes, so remember that, I'm going to leave it with you. Okay, no time is around minutes. here, five minutes. Okay, five minutes. We can go to six, but any more than it will be hard. We want a little bit of a uh, run in there. Right, chickpeas. Yes, what do you and doing And this is what we're going to do, right, so I've got some chickpeas here. Right, oh, yeah, cool. Just want to, like, this is the important bit, just want to get a tea towel, dry them off as best you can, mm -hmm. you know, and then pop them in a bowl. Yes. And then we've got are some gonna salt. Them? We're going to roast them. Oh, salt nice. pepper. Okay. A little bit of olive oil over it. Got some that brown so sugar. Good. I could just eat them as a snack. <laughs> well, you can after. Oh, good. A <laughs> little bit of cinnamon. Toss it all around. Mix it up. Yeah. Pop it onto a tray. 20 minutes, about 180 degrees. Yeah. Give it a good stir around. Another 20 minutes, and then they come out like this. Yum. Look at that. Nice and crispy. Try oh, one of those. That is brilliant. Yum, 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 so yum. So great texture in there. Oh, oh, You've got oh, oh, oh. a little bit of that spice sort of coming on as well. You know, just a completely different way of oh. eating chickpeas. And like you said, you know, in front of the rugby, you can just snack on great it. Great snack. Relatively healthy too. I quite like this. How long's left on the egg? Four minutes. <laughs> Good work, Chef. <laughs> um, Mark, this is looking amazing. Well, isn't it? I've been calling it Laska, but it's actually oh, Lux. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just brilliant, that's what it is. I can't wait to eat. What are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got Korean beef on the menu.